Hey friends, it's Jesse. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my favorite video ever to film my Panos eyeshadows update. I have a lot of updates, some good updates, some progress, and I am so excited to share. So let's get into it. I did manage to hit one pan on a shade this month and I'm also going to be rolling out a second shade. So let's go ahead and start with the updates. I'm gonna start with the most progress, I think, to the least progress. But first, if you're interested in the look I did, I did just film a TikTok. I got these eyeliner stamp pens in PR. So one side is like an eyeliner tip and the other side is like a stamp for like a winged eyeliner. And I tried it out in this video. I did a little TikTok that should be up on my Instagram reels and my YouTube shorts by the time this goes live. So if you're interested, go check that out. But let's go ahead and get into the updates. The first shade I wanna talk about comes from my ColourPop Anna Frozen 2 palette in the shade Wind. And I have used this shade 11 times this month for a grand total of 60 uses in the project so far. I rolled this one into my project last year, pretty early on in the year, and I've used it a ton. I've already hit pans in two other shades in this palette before I hit pan and wind, and I am so sick of this shade, but I'm taking it so personally. I do have a really good dip in that shadow. I don't know what it is about this one. I don't know if it's because I'm normally using it on a fluffier brush. I'm using it as a crease shade. I'm really diffusing it, really blowing it out. I'm not using like a pencil brush like I did with some of these other shades, but I am determined to hit pan on it. So I am going to be keeping it in the project. Hopefully in the next month, I will have some pan. I'm manifesting the pan in this shadow. The second shade I wanna talk about comes from my Natasha Denona Love Palette. And the shade I've been working on is this pink shimmery metallic shade Giving. I have used this one a total of nine times this month for a grand total of 26 uses in the project. I, again, am determined to hit pan on this. These shades are so dang deep. Like, look how deep that pan is. It's insane. Like, I've worked my butt off on this shade. I'm actually wearing it today. This is kind of primarily how I've been using it this month, more as like a lid topper. So I just did some matte berries in the crease, and then I topped it with a white shadow on the lid, and then just sprinkled giving right over top of that so it wasn't too in your face more of like a lid topper. I have really enjoyed this shade. I've tried using it as an actual metallic with like spraying my setting spray on my brush and giving it that really metallic foiled shade. But lately this is kind of the vibe that I've been going for, just a very soft, subtle lid topper shade. I'm hoping to have pan in this one by next month as well. I think 26 uses is quite a bit, but I feel like I could get there. Fingers crossed, I am going to be keeping this one in the project as well. The third shade is another shade that's been in this project from the beginning. I feel like I'm slowly making progress this year, slowly but surely, but the shade I've been working on is Hello Salem from my ColourPop Gather Round Sisters in collaboration with Hocus Pocus. I have used this shade a total of six times this month for a grand total of 19 uses in the project. And I'll be honest, I almost decided to roll this one out because of wind. I just feel like because I have two very similar shades, I'm trying to split my time equally between them. And I just feel like I'm not making a ton of progress, you know? But given the dip that I have, it's only been 19 uses. I feel like I could possibly make some significant progress and I'm hoping that once I have pan in either this one or wind, the other one will be shortly after having pan. I just feel like I use them in almost the exact same way and I can only do berry looks or warm neutral looks lately. I do really like the shade. I am determined to hit pan on this one as well because I have put so much effort into it, but I will update you guys in the next month. This one has also been used mostly as like a crease or transition shade. It's actually my transition today. I also have my Naked Cherry palette on my eyes today. It's just a very soft first shade and I feel like it goes with a lot. The next shade I wanna share also comes from my Natasha Nona Love palette and you guys will be so excited. I hit pan in transparent. So I rolled this shade in last month. I used it 19 times. It took me 18 uses to hit pan and then I used it an additional time this morning. I don't know if you can see because I feel like the pan is very similar color to the actual shade, but I did hit pan. I'm very proud of it. I literally have only used this as an inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. I used a pencil brush, which is why the pan looks so oddly circular and deep. 
uh, versus like giving. I've been using that on like denser brushes, my fingers, but using it on a pencil brush definitely helped me to hit pan on it very quickly. So I am going to be rolling this one out. It was a lot of fun. This palette's definitely starting to look a lot more loved, but I am excited to have this one out and I can focus on a shade in my melt blueprint palette for my level up project. One pan down, very pleased with that. The next shadow I'm gonna talk about comes from my Melt Cosmetics Recently Deceased palette. I always forget I have these things in there and then they fall out and I freak. But the shade I've been working on is Lost Souls, which is this matte purple shade. It is a very pretty royal purple. You can see how messy my desk is, let's ignore that. But I have only used this one two times this month for a grand total of six uses since rolling it in because this was rolled in in the intro to my project. And because it has been in this project for three months, I have the rule that if I use a shade 20 times, or it's been in the project for three months and I still have not hit pan on it, I am allowed to roll it out. So I am going to roll this one out. I have primarily used it as like a deepening up crease shade. I've tried to do some purely purple looks and that's been fun. I used this in conjunction with my Lethal Cosmetics After Dark palette, some of the purple shades in there. And then I also tried to use it in conjunction with some of the pinks I've been working on to do like a pinky purple look but I'm just tired of working on this shade. I've put so much energy into Wind and Hello Salem that I just have not worked on this shade and I would rather roll it out and possibly get something that could kind of work in with these shades a little better. Uh, so I am going to roll it out, but I did really enjoy using it and I had a lot of fun pulling this palette back out. It was definitely inspiring. I love the yellowish greenish purples in here, so I did enjoy playing with it. It is just time for me to move on to New Horizons. And the last shade I'm gonna talk about comes from my ColourPop Lush Life palette, and the shade I've been using is Monsoon, which is this bottom deep blue shade. I also used this one two times this month for a grand total of four uses since rolling it into the project. And this one, I have not hit the 20 uses and I have not hit the three months. If it were one or the other, I definitely would not want to work on this one still. But I've been using this one. I used it a couple times as a lower lash line shade in conjunction with like wind and some of my warm neutral looks as like a pop of blue. I was really channeling 2018 vibes. But I also did a couple purely blue looks using this and some of my Super Shocks I got. I got this new Super Shock from ColourPop in the shade Lapdog and I felt like the times that I used this as a crease shade, I used this on the lid and it was very, very pretty. I have enjoyed it. I, again, <laughs> I feel like I have pushed it off to the side because I've been focusing on my other shades. But I am going to keep it in and see where we get to next month. So we have two new openings for my project. I have my nice computer set up off to the side so you cannot see it because I actually have an editing station now. So I'm gonna go ahead and randomly generate two new shades and I will let you know what we pick. These shades. <laughs> I guess I got what I wanted. Let me talk about what shades I got. So both of the shades I rolled in are ColourPop shades and if you've ever watched any of my Project Panels Eyeshadows videos. You know I have a love-hate relationship with ColourPop shades. They're so affordable, but they take forever to pan, and I feel like it's always hit or miss as to what type of formula you get. But <laughs> the shades that I rolled are quite fitting. So the first shade I rolled is 1052, which comes from my ColourPop and Hocus Pocus Witching Hour palettes. We have both Hocus Pocus palettes in. And the shade I rolled was Fur Black as Black, which is this really deep teal shade. I forgot to do swatches. Hold on. Ignore my really terrible swatch, but this is what Fur Black as Black looks like. I feel like it'll be pretty easy to work in, especially with the blue. I feel like I can do some really grungy, vampy looks with the blues, but I find it ironic that now both of my ColourPop Hocus Pocus palettes are in the project. I have played with this one a couple times. I played with it when I first got it. I actually did a get ready with me when I got this collection last year. So I have used it. I don't remember loving this palette as much as I like the other Hocus Pocus palette, but it's a Hocus Pocus palette, so you can't go wrong. And now for the second shade, I actually rolled two shades for my second shade. So let me explain. The first shade I rolled in was actually from my Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette, which I was so excited about, but there was a slight issue with that. One of my shadows in that palette broke and I still have to repress it and I haven't gotten around to it and it's literally been broken for like a month. So I decided to re-roll because I didn't want to try and hold up and show that while I still have all of the crushed 
shadow that I need to repress in there. It was just like one of the shimmers. So I did re-roll for the second shade and I got a shade from my ColourPop Auto Palette. This palette has been in my Project Pan Those Eyeshadows literally every single update since last year since I started this project last year the shade I got is adventure which is this shimmery plum purple shade so it's not a bad shade it's very pretty I feel like it'll go great with some of the other shadows in my rotation currently but when I tell you this project loves this palette for most people it's the BH like weekend festival palette like the rainbow one my project likes the color pop on a palette not sure what that's about, but regardless, I think our color story is very fun. I'm excited to have some fresh shades to work on, and I'm excited to share my progress. We're on track. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will have one of these shades out of my ColourPop on a palette next year. Next year. Next update. That is all for today's update, friends. Thank you so much for joining me and chatting with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know what projects you are working on and what shades you're working on. I love to support other people that are doing this project. So if you do it, let me know. I'd love to check out your videos or your Instagram posts or whatever. And I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.